Hey everyone, Jason Boone here from PremiumBeat.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can perfectly time your music while editing video in Adobe Premiere Pro. So for many years I worked as an editor for a small PBS affiliate TV station in Florida. Now working in the broadcast realm, I was often required to edit content to a specific length, often down to the frame. So I became proficient at adjusting music tracks to fit 10, 30, and 60 second running times. So in this tutorial, I'm going to take a 20 second promo and create a short and long version utilizing the same music track. So let's get started. Just for your information, when you download a music track from premiumbeat.com, you're going to get more than just the single music track. So we have a music track here that I got off of premiumbeat.com. It's two and a two and a half minute music track. But also what I have here is I have a folder full of loops and a folder of short versions. So there's a lot to work with here. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to teach you this method of just utilizing one music track. I have one of the short versions of the track here, which is 20 seconds in length. Let's go ahead and watch the promo. Okay, so again, that's a short little 20 second promo. Now let's say we delivered this promo for broadcast and the producer came back and said, hey, we need two different versions of the same, two extra versions of this same promo. We like the music you picked, but we need a shortened 10 second version and we need a 30 second version. So that's what we're gonna be doing here. So if I were doing this, the first thing I would do is I would put some markers on this audio track for timing purposes. and It's gonna make editing the audio track easier and it's gonna make uh, just visually seeing where the beats are located on the track. So let me show you a quick tip here. The first thing I would do, I'm gonna add markers to this clip on the fly. And the way I'm gonna do this is I'm just gonna simply play back with, with have the clip selected and then on the fly, I'm gonna be pressing the M key to add markers to this clip. And the way I'm gonna do this is every, every few beats, I'm gonna count in beats of four, and every so often, I'm going to add markers. So let's go ahead and do this. Now watch the, watch the clip here. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay, there we go. Simple enough. You see we have all these markers here now at the rough end of these beats. And if you just look at the waveform, you can see the flow of this music track and where some of the hits are, the beats are. And then here we have our stinger. This is an important part of this. We have a marker right on our stinger. So we could even rename this marker here. And if you double click it, we can just call this stinger, add it, change it to red. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna, let's just copy this file and let's bring it in. I have a, 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 comp, a sequence that I've already made here, version 01. So I have a new sequence here and I'm just gonna drop the music track in here and now we're gonna shorten it up. This will be our 10 second version. Now for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm not showing you how to edit all the video, so I've pre-cut a 10 second version with all the video over here. I'm just gonna show you how we're gonna do the audio here. Okay. So now a way to shorten this, usually what I do if I'm shortening clip is I know that I, this, since it's for broadcast, it has to be 10 seconds exactly. So I'm going to take this to the 10 second mark and I'm going to add another marker, but I'm going to add a marker to the timeline. So make sure this clip is not selected and then hit M again. And then we've added a marker. So we know that's exactly at the 10 second mark. We know that's when we have to be out. We can have no more video after this. Okay. So a quick way. As I, as I back time my music to shorten it, I know that I'm going to want this stinger to, and to end at my last little like one second to uh, half or, or the last one to two seconds here, I'm going to want this stinger to hit. So if I grab the beginning here and shorten this up, let me just drag it way up and then we're going to just kind of time this stinger here to pull it in right there. And then pull this back. So now we have our stinger kind of roughed in. If we grab, go to the marker 
Let's see that it's at about seven seconds. Let's see how that looks. Okay, now let's bring this and see where the music begins. Okay, now we added these markers because we know this shows us where the beats are. So let's see if we can kind of rough this in and get this to start on a beat. So we have a beat here. Let's grab this and time it up and see how this starts. That's a good place to start, right on that beat. The beat hits in, it's a good place to start. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that to the front, so that's where, how it's gonna start. And we have our stinger roughed in near the end here, but it's sticking out a little bit past our 10 second mark. So now all we need to do is just simply drag this back and I'm gonna add an audio transition shortcut here. You could go to effects, audio transitions, and just grab a crossfade, drag it down. So now let's listen to this. So that's, that's pretty good. And you can see our stinger is right here. That gives us a good two seconds to show our final title graphic when our stinger hits there. So now let's grab this, drag it over, and see how it looks. Might not be perfectly timed. So here's our 10 second version of the promo. There we go, perfect. And as you can see, I've already, again, I've already cut this video together, but that's another reason we add these markers here is that it makes it very easy to edit straight to the beat when we have these markers in place. Okay, so we have our shortened version. That was very quick. So now let's go back to our original one, copy it again. Now we're gonna extend it. Now we're extending it to a 30 second. So now the way we do this is I do it kind of the same way. I, I go to the 30 second mark. I add a marker to this timeline, and then I bring my stinger right back there. Let me trim, no, that, that's good. I can leave it there. Okay, now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna look, and we're basically just gonna cut up portions of this track and loop it. So what we're gonna do here as you can see, if you look at the waveform, just look at it, you know, visually, we can see it's kind of quiet here. It has a couple beats where it's quiet, and then the beat comes in, and then it hits hard here. I'm sorry, it builds here, and then... So if you listen here, between this marker and this marker, we could loop this to extend our track. So let's go ahead, we can make a cut here, we can pull this back, and if we make another cut here, and then grab this part, and then hold Alt to duplicate, drag it over. Now let's just have a listen and see how this loop sounds. There we go, so we've extended it a little bit. Now let's go ahead and, and do the same thing over here. Let's find a portion that we can extend here. So let's see if we can just ex uh, kind of loop the beginning here. So let's go and grab this part, edit on this marker. Drag, yeah, well, let's just duplicate this and see what happens. Okay, let's see here. Now, let's see how much space we have. We have a little gap here, and we have a little bit of room to play with over here. So you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply 
grab this. So we have our beginning. That's fine. Now, what I'm going to do is duplicate another one of these and fit, fit it back here. So what we're going to do is just give it some room here, duplicate another option here, bring it right up there, and close this down. And now if you look, we're in there pretty good. So let's go right to the marker and bring this back. And we're going to need to put in another audio transition. Let's just have a listen to this stinger. Hmm. So I'm not liking it. I want more space. I want the stinger is too short. I want to have that. I want to have all of that. So what we could do is we're going to need to cut out at least one little section here. So let's find out what we can do. Maybe there's somewhere in here. We might be able to just cut out this little portion here. Let's try it. So I'm going to do a ripple delete and listen to this. Okay, now let's drag this on here. We have our pre-edited, looks like it's roughly lining up. Okay, let's have a listen. Okay, all I need to do now is extend this stinger. Actually, no. Let me extend it from here. And we may just have a little bit of black here, which is fine. So let's grab this. And there we go. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.